Rightio, we've looked at Telnet and setting up console lines. Now we're going to have a little bit of a look at SSH. Um, I'm actually going to, we've got our poor old loan switch up here. I'm actually going to add a uh, PC into the mix here. Mainly so I can test out the SSH once I've got it connected. All right, so there's our PC. Now, let's go and just have a bit of a look into our switch here. Um, I'm just going to do a show run command. What I'm really interested in seeing is the IP address that I set, which is 192.168.0.100. Um, once, I know that you notice uh, this takes, we'll talk about spanning tree protocol a little bit later on. It takes a little while for that to come up green. For the moment, let's just go in and set our IP address on the PC, uh, set it at 10. Don't need a gateway at the moment, we'll fix that up a little bit later on down the track. Okay, let's start configuring SSH on switch. Uh, very first thing we're going to do is set a domain name. And you can give it anything you like. Um, normally you'd give this the name of your organisation or company or whatever the, it is that you've got. Uh, I'm just going to call it steve.local. This is important, it actually forms part of that crypto key that we're just about to generate. Next thing, crypto key generate and we're going to generate an RSA key. I'm not going to go into all the details of the theory behind this but you can have a read up on that yourself but anyway. Um, we're going to do RSA. I'm not going to use the default of 512. You notice how it comes up at 512 there. I'm not going to use that. The reason for that is that if you actually look through the description here um, you need more than 512. In fact you need around about 1024 for it to give you version 2 of SSH, which is what I want. So let's just do 1024. Next thing that I'm going to do is just effectively uh, switch SSH on, if you like, uh, and also give it the version number there. Notice how it comes up with 1.99 has already been enabled. Uh, for some reason, it should actually be 2, but uh, they didn't quite round it up enough. Uh, we're actually going to set it to version 2 just to be on the safe side anyway. Once we've done that, we need to set a local username, which I'm just going to be Steve, and a password. Now, I can use password here, but remember that whenever we have password, it doesn't get encrypted uh, when we look at the show running config. We can still use secret here. Once we've done that, well, that's pretty well it. We've set up our local username and password. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is actually go into that line VTY and I'll set up five possible SSH lines here. This is just like we did with Telnet. The next thing we want to do though is change the transport. and We want to go away from Telnet and actually use the trans transport of SSH. And login instead of actually giving it a local a, a, a password we're actually going to say login local what this will do is use this here that we created earlier it'll actually use that as our username and password the rest of it we can set up exactly the same as what we've done with um, Tilnet for example exact time out 30 minutes logging synchronous um, if you want to do that and the message of the day banner nice to have that that's it, we're done there, we'll just save that. We're finished on the switch side of things. Now remember that switch was, I'm just gonna add a little note here. Uh, I actually like to put labels on everything. Um, it makes it, when you start getting into the more complicated uh, packet traces, it makes it a lot easier if you've got everything labeled. But anyway, I'm gonna go into PC. We've set our IP address on that, we know that that's 10. Next thing I'm going to do is open up the command prompt here and we're going to open up an SSH session. Uh, our username was Steve and our IP address of the switch was dot .100. Try that. Uh, put our password, which was our secret password of Cisco. Notice our little banner message comes up. We're actually now into the switch. Go in here, password again, and I can actually start configuring whatever I like to do on the switch. That's as easy as it is to set up SSH. Um, it's a lot more secure than what Telnet is. Uh, it's just as easy to set up as Telnet. Really not all 
lot of reason really to use Telnet anymore when you can use SSH. That's it, thanks.